Hey, what's up guys? Footy Manager TV here. This is episode 3 of my Southampton career and part 2 of the preseason. Next up will be coming our first ever match of the season against Man City in the league away. As you know, that sounds very tough and you just go wait and see for the results. But it was very entertaining to play these matches, especially with a team that wasn't expected to do well. Like It's not like I have high expectations, so if I don't do well, it's not a disaster and I'm playing a world class, as you'll see before the matches... So it will be a bit tough, but I like a challenge. And I'm really actually enjoying playing with Southampton because I don't have the pressure of winning, like coming top four. And like I said, if I don't do that, it doesn't matter as much because I'm only expected to pretty much uh, finish mid-table, which is good expectations, I think. And I really want to come there, as you can see. Um, we're having some negotiations, and again, we're only getting offers for loan. Like I said in the last episode, it was really disappointing. I wanted to sell players so I can actually get Paradise to the team. Though negotiating is fun most times. When you don't have the money, it's pretty annoying. When you just need to sell that extra player to get the cash, um, it can be pretty annoying at times, especially when you got a tough match first up. And also, on my episodes of this series, this career, I just really wanted to focus this so much. I'm not going to be starting any other careers like... I did previously, and other people, some other people still think I can still do Newcastle, or my other ones I ever started, but I broke my hard drive, I don't know how many times I have to say it, maybe everyone doesn't watch all my videos, but that is the case, if other people know, just leave comments, or I, I don't have to say it every time, because I don't want to comment in my videos all the time saying the same thing, so if you can do that, they'll be very much appreciated. But like I said, I do want to do so much episodes in this career and I'm just going to be basically focusing on this because I know uh, the career modes, if they can be very successful, you can get a lot of viewers and that's what I want to do. Like my Newcastle ones, I'll be focusing pretty much solely on the Southampton career, getting uploads every day, maybe sometimes even twice. You just got to see what happens with that. I just want to focus on this career as well. I won't be starting any other ones for the duration of FIFA 13 because as you know, I do have the five-year plan and I think they'll last me until FIFA 14, hopefully. The only other series I will start is sort of a let's talk about FIFA 14, which will be basically just gameplay of head-to-head -head seasons, me with me, uh, just talking about different things that I think can be improved, and sort of maybe sometimes I'll chuck in some funny things like, well, not really funny things I think that should be fixed, like penalties that shouldn't be penalties, like the match engine, like when they collide and all that weird stuff happens sometimes and a lot of the time leads to goals and just things like that. But we have a transfer offer once again, another loan, Jake Sinclair. Uh, he's 59 overall, 17 years of age. He may be a future prospect, just got to wait and see how he develops on loan. And like I have mentioned previously, I love to get ideas for transfers into the second season. The first season right now, and also I'm just heading into January. Obviously, you're not going to see that for quite some time right now, but I am getting closer to January, but I don't have any money. But if I can sell some players, leave some suggestions for players that I can sign, like under 10 million, under 5 million, something like that. Preferably, I don't want like young players that are only 60 overall right now. I want players I can use that can make an impact in the team. Maybe players in low 70s that are maybe 21, 22. Not like really young players that... I've noticed I want players that with good mental attributes and really young players, their mental attributes are really bad and as they grow older, they grow. So I do want some experienced players or maybe I'll just try and get some loans. You just got to wait and see for that. But I would like to see suggestions, but maybe for the second season because first season after the first signings I've made, the first couple um, where I am right now that I'm going to show you uh, in these next couple episodes... I really don't have much money left, so it's basically I can't get anyone else unless I sell someone in January, and I can't really say I will for sure because I'm not there yet, and obviously I wouldn't spoil it, but yeah, I don't even know myself, so I can't say I might not even sell anyone, so I just got to wait and see pretty much, and here I was looking for loan players, and with the low budget of transfer, I think to myself this will be a very good idea to get players, they're pretty much the same overall players as we have already, and they could grow throughout the year at our team and become one of our best players in the team, but obviously next season they won't be in the plans. And these are sort of some of the ones I made for tra um, for my Newcastle transfers in the first season. Jonathan Dos Santos, Montoya, I wanted to try them again because they did well for me in Newcastle. And that's what you've got to do. If you had experience with players before and they've done well for you, there's no reason why you shouldn't get them again. But then again, there's Luca Morone. He's a position we really wanted because he can play center mid, center defensive mid, and also as a center back. So he could be very good backup for us. And that's what the loans are pretty much for me. I didn't want them to be starting players. I want our starting players we have at already at the team so they can improve. 
the Lonies, they're pretty much for backup, and I think that's the best way to use them, in my opinion. And the only downside, pretty much, is that you're improving a player for another team, and they go back to that team in the next season, and most of the time, you're getting them in rival teams. Well, they wouldn't be rival yet, but maybe in a few seasons, as you can see, Mbai, Niang, Montoya, I've got a couple Barcelona players. So if we get into the Champions League, a couple, like four or five years in, a Barcelona, those players, they're going to be at their peak, like 24, 25. But really, that's only one season, so it doesn't matter too much. That's the only downside if I could think of one. But James Ward-Prowse, he wanted a new contract because that's the thing. If you start a younger player, even in preseason, if you just put him in the starting lineup, uh, he'll want a new contract because then he thinks he's in the starting eleven. And after that, Barcelona, they make an offer like I was just talking about them. So that's one thing. Always make sure you have your better players in the starting eleven, because then if you don't, they sort of will. Ex with that, they can. There's a chance of them wanting to leave for whatever reason. It's like that in the game. Even you, if you're just resting them, um, you gotta just do it on the day of the match, not for the whole week. Like if you see you have a match in five days and you think you just wanna choose the team, then put your players in and put. Say if you're resting a better player, one of your best players in an easy match. Like if you just take him out, then maybe during that week. He might think he's not wanted at the team anymore. Um, at least that's just what I've noticed anyway. Like with my Newcastle, when Ben Arthur wanted to leave, when he said he wanted to leave, I just had him out of the starting 11 just because of resting him. So, yeah, I think that may result to that, but not 100% sure on that. Yeah, that's just, just uh, what I thought may happen. It's not 100% sure. It's just my thoughts. But anyway, as you can see, Bayern Munich, they're interested to sign Cavani, even though they have uh, Mario Gomez. Imagine those two tall strikers together. It would be very, um, I would think very hard to defend against that. But here we get a transfer offer for Paolo Gazaniga to Charlton Athletic. Exactly what I wanted. I wanted him to go to an English team a couple um, a couple leagues below, either in Championship or League One. So that's perfect because he should get um, he should be the number one there and get very regular appearances. And hopefully he does improve. But I sort of feel Gazaniga. He's not going to become like a super player. So I may look to sign a younger goalkeeper to come through, and I think that will be the best way. Or sign maybe a more experienced goalkeeper that you can get for pretty cheap. That's a good age. But I don't want to spend more than $5 million for a goalkeeper, especially a team of Southampton, where we don't have so much money, like I say. But yeah, like I said, I would prefer to get a younger goalkeeper that is okay already, but that also can develop. But I suppose I have to look for that. I know I would love to see suggestions as well. But players that I will have to look into the second season, as we do have a solid goalkeeper right now, Barok. He's doing very well. Uh, Artur Barok, I think his name is. Yeah, he's a very good goalkeeper. Uh, here, Luca Morone. Very impressed to get him from Juventus. And hopefully he can pr um, improve throughout the season as well. That's the thing with our team. We've got a few young players. And hopefully they can improve throughout the season and get a better rating. So maybe after January, our team will be even better just because our players are improving. And again, we've got some more transfer action. Still Barcelona. I really didn't want to sell Ward Prowse as I think he's a future player. But here finally we get an offer. And I just think I wanted to accept that straight away. Even though it's below his value, it's 1.6 million, and that means we can sign Paradis, and that's all I wanted. I probably could have got more, but I just wanted to get him. That's all I was caring about right there, because yeah, I didn't want to wait too long. I want to get Paradis to the team, and Gulli de Prado as well. Same situation. I just want to accept it, not risk counter offering, and they think it's too much. And I would, and I got like two million from that, so I would have got the money, and was very happy at this stage, and I could relax because I know I would have been able to get my man. Paradise, and hopefully he can make a difference to the team there punch on he sold so very happy then I think I was just going to check out my funds right now and I did have enough but as you see we're getting to the end of the video right now so you would imagine that Paradise, he's not going to be there for the first match against Man City which is going to come straight up in the next episode after this he's going to come hopefully um, towards the end of the transfer window but he hopefully can make an impact because I really have high hopes for him and hopefully can develop he has 86 potential, I think it is, so he can grow very well. If you can see like his attributes right now, he's got like in the 80s shot power. Imagine how much that can be when he's at his like like at his peak, like when he is 86 overall, and his passing is like 83 as well, like long passing. That can be into the 90s, and shot power in the 90s. He could be a very super player for us, so hopefully he can reach his full potential. And there you see Gulli de Prado, Sosa Bolton. Um, he's gone to a lower league, only 68 overall, not good enough for our team, but that will allow us to sign our man next up, but right here, you know, we've got Man City, so hopefully, um, yeah, leave some predictions, actually, 
um, for the result. And then you'll, you'll be seeing that in the next episode. And hopefully it can be a positive result for us. More than anything, I just want to play good, not really worrying about the result. Cause I just want to know that my team can play well together. But for now, that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave a like and I'll see you guys next time.